Do you have a focused plan for your life this week? Now, I'm not talking about five years from now, that question that a lot of times jobs will ask. They'll say, where do you see yourself five years from now? And my first response is, I don't know where I'm going to be five minutes from now. And you want to know what I'm going to be doing five years from now. But you have to have some type of focus. So my question is, are you focused on something this week? Something you want to get done. Oil change for the car. Uh, you know, get the, get the groceries done. Finish wallpapering the wall. Um, you know, make it through the week without hurting anybody. Anything like that. And distraction is a tool that comes to take us away from our intended goal. Being distracted can cause us to lose focus on our goal. Uh, when General Sherman did his march to the south and he burned the south and set fires all the way down to the Savannah River, the reason why this was such a victorious move on his part was because what he found out was, if I set my enemies' cities and camps on fire, they are going to be too busy focusing on putting out the fires, and that allows us time to fight them, surround them, defeat them, which is essentially what happened in the uh, war between the North and the South right here in our own country. People look at that and say, well, that's, you know, why did he do it? It was all about distraction. I heard somebody say, well, if Sherman had taken on the troops head on, uh, the war would have went differently. In warfare, it's all about winning. And that's what Sherman understood. And so the South and General Robert E. Lee realized that they were distracted from their goal. And they were unable to be victorious because of the fact that they were too busy trying to keep the cities from burning down. Militarily, and I, I'm not cheering for the North here because this is over with and done in history and we're one country now, but we have to understand that militarily, it was a fantastic genius ploy. And that is what the enemies of life try to do is to subtract us or, or not subtract us, but to distract us, and then thereby, I suppose, subtracting victory in our life. Many times, the only way that you or I can make it through the hours that we work and do the things that we do and go where we go and look at, hey, this is the time when everybody else is normally going home, but I still got three, four hours worth of work to do, or however it is, is that can become a distraction from, yeah, but look why I'm doing this. The payoff, the money. I laugh sometimes and say, my creditors thank you for the, for the paycheck. My creditors appreciate it. But there's an end goal. There has to be an end goal. And with your children, with your job, whatever it is. Two things have to happen this week. And I'm, again, not talking about five years from now. I'm talking about this week. The challenge is, one, set the goal for what you want to accomplish this week. By the end of the week, what do you want to see? By the time the weekend comes, what do you want to have checked off? And then two, watch out for the distractions that will come and try to stop you. And the goal is to overcome those distractions and make it to the finish line one day at a time. 
I wish you the best. My prayers are with you. And have a great week.